another Halloween? Oh, wait a minute. Mm. Yeah. McDonald's 2023 Happy Halloween Kids Meal Bucket. This one is the orange skeleton pail. Voila. And there's more inside of this McDonald's pail. Inside of the pail, you have this um, sticker thing. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in there. Mix and mash monsters. Create your own monsters with your stickers. You got a scar. You have eyeballs, love, in love eyeballs. Uh, you got kind of a laughing. I would, I would say this is kind of a spooky laugh. You got a squiggly line smile. You got a little bit of a monster bite smile. And then you got a little bit of, hey, you better back up kind of thing going on here. And I'm assuming this is a nose. And this is also a nose. Inside is where it gets spooky. There's a few different faces on the pail. One kind of looks unhappy and one looks happy. Also, we're going to try out sweet and spicy jam and mambo sauce. That sounds spicy. In this Happy Meal, we have french fries. Look tasty. Apple slices. And a chicken nuggets. We don't want to waste these, do we? Okay. For reference, we're going to dip a fry into it so we can get a better example of what the color of the sauce is. Okay. So it's kind of uh, red. Let's try it. Okay, so again, this is the sweet and spicy jam. We're gonna go ahead and dip a fry in there. We're gonna go ahead and see, it kind of has a jam looking color. It looks kind of jammy and delicious. It smells a little tangy. And then, that, oof, that, mm, okay. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh. That's interesting. It almost, whoa, that's hot. <clears throat> so, if you've ever had strawberry jam, if you haven't, have it and try it on your hash browns. Pro tip. But, it tastes like strawberry jam with a hot sauce. And I'm thinking kind of more of a Tabasco-y type of hot sauce. So, that's kind of, kind of for you to decide if that's your thing or not. But definitely not picking this over the normal barbecue sauce. Just to make sure. Too sweet and too Tabasco-y. But I don't even know if that's what it is. It could just be a hot sauce, but too, not, I like your packaging color and everything, but I'm, but I'm not, it's just not my thing. Uh, I'm not saying this isn't for everybody, but for me, not my favorite. Not my favorite. Let's go ahead and try the other one. Next up to bat is Mambo. Cool looking star on there. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. This one is Mambo, and as you can see, it has a more familiar barbecue looking coloring. Let's go ahead and give it a smell test. Whoosh, woosa. That's... <clears throat> I'm smelling like... I'm smelling like... Aggressive smells, if that makes any sense. Kind of like burns your nose hairs a little bit type of deal going on there. But... Let's see it, baby. It tastes good. Doesn't smell that great, but who knows? You just never know here. Okay, so if you guys want to see the dip, 
that's what the consistency of it looks like. That's a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also getting a whiff of um, spice in there. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the first taste that I identified remind me of one of those little cuties, you know, those little orange, little tiny mini orange neck, nah, tangerines or something like that. But then it hits you with that, like, that, that spice. And it, it, it's not reminding me of Tapatio. It's kind of reminding me more of a, of a hot sauce that I'm not a big fan of. But at first it has this like cooling effect and you're like, oh cool, I'm tasting like an orangey, orangey type of thing going on, some sort of citrus. And then about two seconds later, you get hit with the, uh, <clears throat> with the not so pleasant spice. But try them for yourself. Tell me what you think. And uh, if I had to say which one do I like more out of the two, the Mambo one, without a doubt. But do I still like this more than say just regular ketchup or the normal barbecue sauce? Absolutely not. If you made it this far, go ahead and slap that subscribe button and let that subscribe button know that you're here to stay. That's a big doggy. That's a big doggy.